everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have a little review video slash demo video for a new wig that I have received in the mail from Donna Love Hair. I'll leave all the links down below so you can go and check out their website and perhaps purchase a wig yourself. The wigs that they have are synthetic, they have natural hair ones as well. They also have clip-in hair extensions and they are amazing quality. I've heard really good things about this brand and so I was really excited when I got this in the mail. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what came in this little box and how to put it all on. So inside the Donna Love Hair package I received a brush. They also send you a wig cap although it's not a full cap, it's got two holes, but it is a wig cap that you put over your hair so that all of the flyaway bits and everything stays nicely in place. So when you pop your wig on top, there's nothing kind of moving around or falling out and also your hair underneath is nice and flat. I will show you how you can sort of flatten your hair so your wig stays on nice and firm. So obviously the wig came in the mail, uh, so it's currently wrapped in a hairnet. I have taken it out and sort of tried it on and given it a little, um, I guess, well. Uh, so that was the um, net it came in. I would keep this if I were you, so when you're not using your wig, you can wrap it right back up and you can keep it nice and safe from any sort of damage that it may get if you just to throw it in a box. Um, so yeah, this is the wig. It's so long, it's actually 26 inches uh, at the longest piece. There are a couple of shorter pieces around the hairline, which is really great because obviously it frames the face a little better, which makes it more realistic looking. And it's a silver sort of gray color, and it's a synthetic wig. So the curls are already there. So the inside of the wig looks like this, and it has a couple of, well actually it's got three, probably a little bit closer, three combs just like this. Excuse my nails by the way, I'm getting them done tonight, do not judge. Um, so three clips just like this, two on the sides and one at the back of the head, the base of the head there. You also have these little um, stringy bits here, elastics I should say, that you can clip together on each side and sort of tighten it onto the head. So if it doesn't really fit your head that well, you can sort of customize that and make it nice and tight. Especially if you are going to wear it out and maybe dancing or whatever, you want it to stay on your head. Um, and then of course at the front, we have the lace. This is a lace front wig, hence the lace at the front here. It's meant to give you more of a realistic hairline finish so it's a little bit more undetectable that it is a wig. So clearly I have quite dark brown hair and this is silver hair. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work to make it look really natural. But first of all, we're going to put this on our, on my head, on our head, on my head, and we're going to trim off this lace bit that you can see here. They do um, supply this whole, you know, big piece here because obviously everyone's hairline is different and so you need to cut it to custom, uh, a custom sort of um, shape for your own head. So I'm just going to pop that on my head now and we're going to talk about the trimming. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so I haven't actually put my hair, like my cap on. I haven't put the cap on. I haven't done any flattening of my hair. I'm just working out where I want to cut the lace. Um, it is kind of advised to cut the lace while the wig is on your head. However, I don't have anyone to help me with that today. So I'm just going to sort of um, look with my eyes and see where I need to cut it and then take it off and cut it um, just sitting on my lap. But I have seen a lot of videos where they cut on their head, but I've seen someone else do it for them. So I don't really trust myself doing that. So as you can see, um, I do have quite a lot of baby hairs, that's why we're going to push them back later. But I feel like I should sort of cut it around here. So I'm going to do that now. Just, so I'm just taking a small pair of scissors. So now I can show you 
how I've cut all that lace off. So I've left probably half a centimetre or less really um, just around the perimeter of that natural hairline so that was fairly easy to do I guess just make sure you're really steady so you're not chopping any of the actual wig and keep your lines quite straight now I'm going to actually flatten all my hair so um, there are so many ways uh, you can do this like a ridiculous amount of ways you can do this really it's up to you and it, it will depend on the thickness of your hair so my hair is not thin my hair is not really thick it's kind of in the middle I would say so I was kind of playing around the other day and I figured that I can either do uh, some braids on each side if braids are not your thing uh, which a lot of people find difficult to do on their on themselves I'm gonna do some little flat sort of buns so I didn't get some pins so I will be back in just one second. Okay so I just have a handful of bobby pins and also just a brush so I can smooth my hair out. I've just parted it in the middle, it really doesn't have to be perfect obviously no one's going to see it. Grab one side, tuck it right behind your ear. We will be using the cap so that will help keep all those sort of little baby hairs at the front from coming out. You can use hairspray as well, especially if you're going to be wearing um, your wig out and you just want to make sure that it's definitely going to stay in place. So all I'm doing is, I should show you, <laughs> twisting the hair like that. And then we're going to wrap it around like a bun. And as I go, I'm going to sort of make sure it's sort of flat. So not a proper bun, kind of like a flat bun. And I'm just going to grab bobby pins and pin it all the way around. It's really easy. Okay, so that's the front of my hair. And this is the back. So they're kind of like flat princess layer bun. Okay, so now for the most attractive part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Of course no one sees it, so it can stay attractive underneath the wig, where no one can see it. I feel like a lunch lady! <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to tuck all that hair in because I didn't pin it very well. And like I said, quite attractive. Okie dokie, so we may have to give her a name. I don't have a name yet, <laughs> but we may have to give her a name. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pop this on. Remember the combs are there so that can go up the back and two in the sides. Here we go. Woo. <laughs> All right, so this is where you have to really sort of move it around, play with it a little, just popping the clips in, uh, combs in. Generally, I wear a middle part or a side part. I uh, don't know if I like the middle part with this colour, so I'm just going to create some sort of side. Ooh, hey! <laughs> I'm just going to grab the brush, little brush, and just ever so lightly comb it so it's a little bit fluffier. I was told if you do want to brush out the curls you know before sort of every use or after every use um, to use a little bit of water on the wig itself just a tiny spritz and then comb it through that will help it from actually frizzing but I'm just fluffing it a little I'm not going to comb the whole way through whoa this is insane quite insane Still have some little baby hairs hanging out here on the side, just having a party. So we're going to tuck them in a little better and move the wig forward a bit. Cool. So the advantage of sort of doing a side sweep fringe, it looks more realistic because we're not seeing the hairline. If it's... Ooh. Oh. It is so full, so glamorous. There is like... So much hair going on. 
Yeah, so this is the Donna Love Hair 26 inch grey wig. I'll leave the code down below to the actual, you know, code, uh, wig code, um, the name of it, and the link to their website so you can purchase one of your own. Oh, I feel like a superhero, like Ice Queen, or maybe like a sexy Elsa. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like subscribe all of that and i'll see you all in my next video bye